I did say that I would clarify what happened with Lunga because again, when your government does a death, you don't want to be part of the fray and debate that the school at which Lunga died, there were new proper, there was new proper sanitation. So she didn't die because we had not, as government, replaced old toilets. What happens is there were old toilets which unfortunately had not been demolished far away from the school, that where she drowned. Maybe the question is, why were those toilets not demolished? But the fact of the matter, there were new toilets at the school where Lumka died. But also with, with Langlam, the fact of the matter is we have provided new South African national standard approved infrastructure, and we've been explaining this. It means that the school had new toilets. And again, I can't stand this government and say, yes, she didn't, but the fact of the matter, which I wanted to clarify today, is that she was not found in the pit latrine. She was found behind, right? So Langlam was found in the tank of a senior toilet, not appropriate for her, because he was, he was, she was found in the adult section. And I don't want to be asking questions, because why would have not gone to senior toilets? And he was not finding the pit site. Because it was, with those toilets, it's physically impossible for a human body to make its way from the pit site of the toilet to the back of the toilet. I don't know what it's called in English, but it's in this is Stamkov. That's where she was found in the pit, a mover. And the lead, that's what. So she was even too young to leave the manhole that covers the, the lid. So the manhole lid was removed. And she, and then for with her body, she would not have lifted that that manhole. The matter is under investigation. All the same, it's a very sad death. The very sad death for a young kid that fought to be found at the tank of the pit latrines at the back of the toilet.